go. It's been a long time since I've actually stood in front of you all and gave a message regarding the Hummingbird Centre. Um, and we all know that when we start the journey of cancer, it can affect our lives in so many different ways, not just for the person, but for the entire family as well. And that's exactly what happened to ours when my dad was diagnosed with cancer in 2006. As you all know, those who know me, the reason the Hummingbird came about was because of a promise that I made to him. And as they say now, the rest is history. So why am I standing in front of you? And why am I actually speaking to you? The reason being is, is that the hummingbird needs to move on. We need to find new premises, which we have done, and we need your help. For us to enable us to move from where we are now, we've actually found somewhere that we have got to do an awful lot of fundraising for. And we're hoping that by the time someone has read this message or seen this message, there's a potential investor out there that has known about the hummingbird and is aware of the hummingbird and perhaps possibly been supported by the hummingbird or their family. We need to raise, and wait for it, 700,000, hopefully within a month. If not the 700,000, at least the deposit, which would be around about 30% of that 700,000. So my heart is open to all of you now to say, for us to survive and to continue doing what we're doing, we need to find our own premises to enable us to expand, to enable us to provide regular children's services, to enable us to provide courses, to have a regular counselling service in-house as well as external. The list is endless, but the new premises we've found sits in seven acres of land. It will enable us to build our own children's unit. It will enable us to have potential rooms for counsellors to be in-house daily. We supported during COVID 150 guests that needed counselling. We put 102 guests through equine therapy. We put 50 children through the equine therapy. We answered our phones seven days a week. We answered our emails. We couldn't fundraise because we didn't have the ability to fundraise. I've never actually gone out to you all and said, we now need your help. We now need your help more than ever. We know the climate is changing. We know that there's difficulties around the corner, but you know what? Cancer doesn't stop. Cancer doesn't care. It'll keep being there and it'll keep being with us. So if you can help us, look out for our updated pledge place, look out for our video about the new place, and let's get behind the hummingbird. But more importantly, let's get behind the service to enable us to keep going. Thank you.